Now. Hello. Um, today's video is uh, we're working on the pedestal for a round dining room table. And uh, we came up with a way to make the turning process very efficient, I think. In SketchUp, we draw the table. You can see that this is the pedestal here that we're working on. Uh, can you get that on camera, honey? So, so this pedestal, and then we laid out the chunks of wood that we would get it out of here. In fact, if I put on the wood grain, it might show up just a bit easier. Okay, so now you can see the, the wood pedestal and the base, and then the chunks of uh, wood that we had to glue together to get that. So, I was able to take from this, I was able to take from this piece right here and make a, make a, a full size template of this profile. It's right here. I just printed it out of paper and taped it together. So how do we go, and this is where this might help any doing lathe turning. How do you go from this paper template to getting the profile on the lathe? And you know, you have to make a, a mirror image of this and try to hold it in there and fit and fit. And so what helped here is this table that we're doing, it actually has a split pedestal that when you put the leaves in, it expands and exposes this uh, center leg. Well, that meant that we're not gluing together this center section, so we're using clamps and dowels to hold it together to turn it. So let me take this and pop it apart. So that means that these center sections were exposed. So I just went ahead and taped the template on or glued it on with some spray glue and band sawed out one of these sections very precisely and then copied that and band sawed the four center pieces very precisely. And then put some dowels in and then when this put together I had a bunch of clamps on it like this, and, and then was able to take and bandsaw the rest of this bulk out to lighten, to kind of chunk off some of the wood. And I don't know, a lot of the way of work is removing all the excess stuff and then getting down to the fine detail and trying to make the pattern. Well, that's where this came in because now as I turn this, the one that's cut very precisely will be the last one to cut. And so as I turn this, it's very easy. I'm going to go right to my pattern. At least that's what I'm anticipating and we'll see as this goes on. But to also chunk off some of the wood, I set my table saw up at 45 degrees and cut these corners off. But you can see it's quite a bit wider here than it is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a face plate and I'm going to screw this on here very precisely. That will hold my two halves together along with the dowels and then on the on this, this, the uh, tailstock end, I went ahead and made another plywood disc, and I made this disc to receive my live center for the tailstock, and this is going to screw this end of it together. So the, the way this will apply is that any lathe project where you glue two halves together, you can chunk it out. You can, you can tape on a template and chunk it out in advance, and that's going to save a lot of measuring. There'll be no need for calipers. I'll just turn down to it. I think it will make it very efficient. But stay tuned. We'll see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.